Hey guys, it's Daniel from Daddy Daughter Gamer. Today I have something special just for you. I'm gonna open this ration can right here. This was, I believe, a uh, French Air Force uh, emergency ration. It has been sealed since the year 1982. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so rather than um, peeling this tape off and uh, ruining the case, I've gone ahead and scored the size so that I can get into here, okay? That way you can kind of preserve it, hopefully, and make it still look good. So here we go. I'm gonna make sure that I post lots of high-resolution photos in the video, too, so you can see things as it goes. Kind of crusty feeling. Okay, so first off, whoa, that is an interesting smell. Crusty material. This is like an aluminum case. I would imagine they made this out of uh, aluminum. It's rather thick as well to make it robust and possibly so that you could use it to boil water or cook things in, I would imagine. But uh, I'm gonna make sure I get lots of pictures and we'll post those. I might post these up in a forum on the MRE um, forums so that everybody can see this. Um, so first of all, the first thing that we have in here is Notice de Aporum de la Ration in 63. Arme de la Air. Something has gotten on here over time. So I'm gonna try to open this up without completely destroying it. Okay, so here's the, I guess these are probably a content sheet or instructions. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a layer of these gold-colored uh, vitamin C. These are 500 milligram tablets. Uh, it's kind of sticky on the outside, so I believe these have leaked over time or something. Uh, they are produced by the company Roche, which I believe is a, um, was a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, there are six 500 milligram vitamin C tablets in here. Pretty sure those are well past their expiration date or their best buy date. So we've got uh, water purification tablets. There's two packages. Each one has eight tablets. These are pills are actually liquid on the inside. Nasty. Something sticky and gooey and nasty in this. <laughs> now this is Sociite Plastiunion Two Drages Tony Hydratus. There are 12, some sort of like tablet things, and they're suspended in liquid. Uh, they're kind of like squishy. I think these appear to be sealed, although one appears to have actually leaked over time. That's probably some of what has gotten on everything. It has a sour smell to it. Ugh. Yeah, they've definitely leaked and left a mess inside this can over the decades. There are 18 of these little things. It says... Ooh. Butoni, Butoni? Almond de Suave Café Aroma Reinforced. So apparently this says, uh, Aroma strengthens coffee mint food for survival. So this is some sort of coffee flavored survival food. Uh, inside the uh, container, the package here, it's very squishy. There are a lot of these things. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of them up so we can see what it looks like on the inside. And these things were made presumably or packed in the year 1982. Well, this is interesting. Oh, that's quite a smell. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh man. It says Fabrique in Mars Attitude. So that would be made in uh, March, I guess, 1982. Some sort of a sugar coated mm, little chewy looking thing. Um, good God. That does not smell like coffee. <clears throat> it smells like. Oh, like um, really old lard. Like it's something fatty that has gone rancid over the decades. Keep in mind, I mean, 1982, um, that's getting close to 40 years ago at this point. That's pretty old. 
It's not as old as I am, but it's close. My goodness, that stinks. Um, <laughs> mm, should I? Here we go. I'm not gonna chew this up, but I can taste the sugar on the outside and a rancid fat. Oh, yeah, it kind of makes my tongue tingle. Um, I watched some of those Steve 1989 videos over the last couple of years, and I know he talks about sometimes when things have like a kind of tingling on your tongue, it usually is the rancid fat, and I know that because I've been watching his channel. So, hey, good, good stuff. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna actually eat any of this, but there's, still, there's a lot of it in here. I'm just gonna put that back in the case. That's all that is in here now. Um, it doesn't appear to be anything else. Uh, up underneath it, it's all just a bunch of these rancid, uh, coffee-flavored, chewy things. So yeah, uh, it's an interesting piece of memorabilia, I guess. Uh, ancient ration here. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and translate this for you guys so that you'll be able to read it. And I took lots of pictures. So that was an interesting look into this little time capsule. This will be good in, I guess, my little uh, collection that I have going on. It's starting to get bigger and bigger. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video and you decide to click thumbs down, make sure you click it twice. Yeah. That would be a good call. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see some of the other ones that we post, um, consider subscribing to the channel. And if, uh, if you feel like it, if you want to make sure that you stay informed, click the bell icon and then YouTube will let you know every time we post something or every time that we go uh, live. So yeah, uh, leave a comment. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.